How Will You Measure Your Life by Clayton Christensen. How can you be sure that you will be successful and happy in your career? How can you be sure that your relationships with your spouse, your children, and your extended family and close friends become an enduring source of happiness? How can you be sure that you live a life of integrity? Instead of learning what to think, learn how to think. A good theory doesn't change its mind. It is a general statement of what causes what and why. The only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. Steve Jobs Wake up every morning thinking how lucky you are to be doing what you're doing. Priorities, balancing plans with opportunities, and allocating your resources combine to create your strategy. Even as your strategy begins to take shape, you'll learn new things, and new problems and opportunities will always emerge. True motivation is getting people to do something because they want to do it. Hygiene factors are things like status, compensation, job security, work conditions, company policies, and supervisory practices. Motivation factors include challenging work, recognition, responsibility, and personal growth. If you get motivators at work, you're going to love your job, even if you're not making piles of money. The journey is what's important, not the destination. In order to really find happiness, you need to continue looking for opportunities that you believe are meaningful, in which you are able to learn new things, to succeed, and to be given more and more responsibility to shoulder. People who love what they do throw their best effort into their jobs, and it makes them very good at what they do. Is this work meaningful to you? Is this job going to give you a chance to develop? Are you going to learn new things? Will you have the opportunity for recognition and achievement? Will you be given responsibility? Strategy almost always emerges from a combination of deliberate and unanticipated opportunities. Real strategy is created through hundreds of everyday decisions about where we spend our resources. If the decisions you make about where you invest your blood, sweat, and tears are not consistent with the person you aspire to be, you'll never become that person. Work can bring you a sense of fulfillment, but it pales in comparison to the enduring happiness you can find in the intimate relationships that you cultivate with family and close friends. Whenever you're dealing with other human beings, it's not always possible to control how things turn out. 93% of the companies that ultimately become successful had to abandon their original strategy. Successful companies succeed because they have money left over after the original strategy fails so that they can pivot and try another approach. Good money from investors needs to be patient for growth but impatient for profit. Capital that seeks growth before profit is bad capital. Companies focus too much on what they want to sell their customers rather than what those customers really need. What problems are customers trying to solve? What causes us to buy a product or service is that we actually hire products to do jobs for us. When a company understands the job that arises in people's lives and then develops products and the accompanying experiences required in purchasing and using the product to do the job perfectly, it causes customers to instinctively pull the product into their lives whenever the job arises. Every successful product or service is structured around a job to be done. If you work to understand what job you are being hired to do, both professionally and in your personal life, the payoff will be enormous. The path to happiness in a relationship is about finding someone you want to make happy, someone whose happiness is worth devoting yourself to. Thinking about your relationships from the perspective of the job to be done is the best way to understand what's important to the people who mean the most to you. When sacrificing for something worthwhile, you deeply strengthen your commitment to it. Capabilities fall into resources, processes, and priorities. Resources are people, equipment, technology, product, designs, brands, information, cash, and relationships. Organizations create value as employees transform resources into products and services of greater worth. Processes include ways that products are developed and made, and the methods by which market research, budgeting, employee development, compensation, and resource allocation are accomplished. Priorities define how a company makes decisions. Figure out what capabilities you will need to succeed in the future. Self-esteem comes from achieving something important when it's hard to do. Solve your own problems whenever possible. Children will learn when they're ready to learn, not when we're ready to teach them. 
When you aim to achieve great things, it is inevitable that sometimes you're not going to make it. If you're not occasionally failing, you're not aiming high enough. Learn how to plan and organize, how to divide responsibilities, how to communicate among a group, and to appreciate what you actually put your work into. Find the right experiences to build the skills you'll need to succeed in the future. Culture is a way of working together toward common goals that have been followed so frequently and so successfully that people don't even think about trying to do things another way. If a culture has formed, people autonomously do what they need to do to be successful. A culture happens whether you want it to or not. The only question is how hard are you going to try to influence it? If you need a machine and don't buy it, then you will ultimately find that you have paid for it and don't have it. Henry Ford It is easier to hold your principles 100% of the time than it is to hold them 98% of the time. Decide what you stand for and stand for it all the time. The only way to avoid the consequences of uncomfortable moral concessions in your life is to never start making them in the first place. A statement of purpose for a company used to have three parts. A likeness, which is what the key leaders and employees want the enterprise to become at the end of the path that they are on. A commitment to create the likeness. And one or a few metrics by which managers and employees can manage their progress. The likeness is the person you want to become. Who do you truly want to become? If you are clear about the person you want to become, you must devote your life to becoming that person. Figuring out your purpose in life is the most important thing you can learn.